peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoiner gets year in prison for being unlicensed. And number 8,220. Detroit man sentenced to a year and a day for operating an unlicensed Bitcoin business and number 8,221. Boasts Department of Justice U. S. Attorney's Office. District of Maine. In a press release dated December 4. An action involving many different agencies and bureaus over two states resulted in the arrest, plea, and jailing of Sal Manzi for not registering his peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin sales and profit with the requisite agency. Peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin sales and profit targeted local Bitcoins is a peer-to-peer -peer exchange allowing buyers and sellers of cryptocurrencies to safely trade and generally to get rid of or a hold of fiat paper. Increasingly, this service in particular is being targeted by U.S. federal law enforcement authorities who, in spite of lawmakers and number 8217 pronouncements about Bitcoin not being a currency, are invoking currency statutes to prosecute Bitcoiners. Detroit and number 8217 S. Salmanzi is the third such case. Mr. Manzi was investigated for a year as he exchanged Bitcoin through local Bitcoins. The Department of Justice, U.S. Treasury Department, Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, U.S. Immigration and AMP, Customs Enforcement's Homeland Security Investigations, and the Saco Police Department were set upon Mr. Manzi as a result. Mr. Manzi is said to have trafficked in two, 400. Oh, 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 USD worth of Bitcoin during a two-year stretch, beginning summer of 2013, over a one-year period. Through June of 2015, agents traded with Mr. Manzi two times in slightly more than six Bitcoin then worth roughly two oh, 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 USD in total. Their yield, they were able to pin exactly one count of violating it, number 8,220. 18 U.S.C. 1960 by unlawfully operating an unlicensed money transmitting business. In this case, a business dealing in the virtual currency Bitcoin. And number 8,221. Court documents claim, as a result, he faced up to five years in prison and a quarter of a million dollar fine. Three locale Bitcoiners in a row. Two from Michigan this is the third case in a row now of this nature. And two are from Michigan. Detroit and the word blight are almost synonymous these days. So federal law enforcement and number 8217. S targeting of Mr. Manzi is doubly curious. He appeared to be one of few residents making things happen financially in Detroit. Go figure. Mr. Manzi used his company. TV toys, to store his Bitcoin profits, triggering all manner of allegations of money laundering, fraud, and lack of money service business license. Mr. Manzi will service year and a day, an oddly snide sentence to probably catch attention, and has been ordered to pay 118. Oh, 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 oh USD in cash and Bitcoin. He and number 8217. I'll serve an additional three years of supervised release. News. Bitcoin. Com scoured court documents for accusations of fraud such as purchasing illegal items through gains, etc. but came up with nothing. Mr. Manzi will now be considered a felon and give up four years of life for Bitcoin and number 8,220. Transactions without registering his money service business with FinCEN. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. A. Anch of the U.S. Treasury Department. And number 8,221. As it is a number 8,220. Against federal law for a money service business to exchange or transfer Bitcoin without registering. And number 8,221. Authorities are insisting. This year saw at least two other cases. Bradley Stetkew also of Michigan, profiled in these pages, was arrested after trading with agents within the local Bitcoins platform, and Jason Klein, who authorities insist also ran an unlicensed money business.
Both men are awaiting their sentences.